What's going on? Hope all is well. Ah, oh, man, I am just so excited to do this one, man. This is called In Your DM. So, y'all know how it is, man. We all on Facebook, either Instagram. Right now, I've been really heavy on the Instagram. And so, don't be mad, man, if I've been in your DM. You feel me? I wanted to share this with you guys because I think some people get discouraged, dude. Like, real talk. Like, get discouraged. They don't want to hear other people's feedback. They scared because what if they don't get a response or whatever. So, I'm always in people's DMs. Majority of the time, people don't respond depending on what level they're at. But who cares, bro? Like, I'm going to still be consistent in what I'm doing because I'm going to still be in your DM. And so I actually want to give a shout out to uh, the real 94 feet. Let me make sure I say this right, man, because that would be all bad if, you know, we had this real conversation and your boy ain't really ain't really saying the, the right name to it you feel me but hold on g be patient with me y'all be patient with me yeah so it's the real 94 feet of game um feel bro um i know you guys be seeing them on instagram look at right here boom i'm gonna tap onto it i know you guys see them right on instagram bro this is me and him messaging Bro, he gave me some dope advice that I re recommend for you guys, too. And so, look, this is what happened. So, I was just taking my shot. I was like, bro, why not? So, I just DM'd him. I was in his DM, sliding into his DM, right? And I took a shot. But I want to uh, say thank you for the opportunity. And I'm going to be tagging you in this. And I'll have a little bit of clips of his stuff as well. His work is amazing, man. Especially you guys out there that are basketball trainers, teachers, whatever you want to label yourself at, I really think that his work is very simplistic, but also it's, it's, it's right. It's real basketball. It's what we need to be seeing and all that stuff. And guess what, y'all? This dude is the assistant Lakers coach, bro. Like, bro, like assistant Lakers coach, bro. He's been in the game for a long time. He knows what he's doing, man. Like, I think sometimes as us being individuals, it's not to say that our stuff ain't right, but where are we at in our levels? Like, the stuff that he's doing, he's doing it at the highest level, so why not pick his brain, ask him questions, see what he's doing? Um, and then from there, you got your own, you know, twist, swagger, drip of how you do what you do, how you teach or whatever, but it's always good to just connect with other people that are at different levels to see what they're doing and if you're doing something right, man, they're going to encourage you through your work. And so that's just kind of how that DM message was, bro. He encouraged me about my work, the things that I'm doing and stuff like that. So the in between behind. It was just amazing right? just so, to get that yeah, response change back because, speed. again, one, I don't know two, about y'all, but two, one, two. sometimes now you see that? it just be seeming Got like we my go. audience on Instagram. One, two. Good. Here we go. I get change feedback, your speed. but I don't one, get the good. feedback nice. that good. I'm yep. looking for. Stay with it. Like I get people Change your that, speed. You know, eyes up. Like eyes up. Good. Stuff. Yep. Yep. But good. Honestly, nice. Yeah. Come on. Really Stay with it. Stay with it. Good. Feedback, nice. We don't good. really get feedback like that. But I feel like sometimes my audience that I have is people that maybe seem like they can't encourage others. Or why would I encourage another dude's stuff? You know, and, and, the, and the reason why I believe that that's real is because I commented one time on LeBron's stuff and I was amazed by what he was doing. A homie, and this is real talk, a homie, old homie had hit me up, bro, and was like, like, he was joking, but he was serious too because I know him, but he was like, bro, like, I ain't never expected somebody from the North to be in somebody's thing like that. It was real what you said, but I just never expected that. And that was just like an eye opener for me to be like, bro, like, man, there's so many people that I know that are on my social media, man, that could help. But where are you at, bro? And that's why I'm in your DM. And I'm not just in your DM for y'all to help me and not help you. No, the whole thing about this partnership connection and this relationship is this goes a long way. And I know exactly what it feels like in the position that you're in 
wanting to be somebody, feeling like maybe you don't have value. What can you do? I'm in a situation that I can't get out. Why me? Victim, all this other stuff. And it's not that it's not real. I've been there. I'm telling you, it is real. It's hard. It's tough. It's, it, it, you know, it's soul ties, right? It's your mind, your will, and your emotions tied to certain things that may not be good. Bro, I know exactly how that thing feels. But now I'm in a place to where it's like I am out of that. And I don't know, maybe you do enjoy where you're at. So I don't know. I'm not here to judge you or anything. But I'm saying this, like, man, when you see VEO in your DM, Vancouver Elite Outreach in your DM, but there's something about you that is unique and attractive and, and powerful. So if I'm in your DM checking up on you or tagging you in something, man, it's because I know that we're t together, we're stronger than just me by myself or you by yourself. So please, man, don't get offended if I'm in your DM more than once, twice, three times. But guess what? Because guess what? You might be in an area that I can't reach. You might be in people's lifestyles that I can't touch. But us partnershiping together, man, we're going to be stronger, man. And so I want to get you to a level where you know that you are valuable, that you can believe in yourself, and you're more than a conqueror. And I don't care how long it takes. But the thing about it is you just got to be real with where you're at. And that's the whole thing about it is there's a lot of people that would not be real where they're at. It's okay. And I get it. It's so, it's so easy to deceive yourself, right? Deceive yourself and be like, well, man, I'm all right, man. I'm, I'm okay with, you know, $500 coming in, you know, every two weeks. Or I'm okay with, you know, $300, $200 coming in every two weeks. At least I had a roof over my head. At least I got clothes on my back. At least I got some food on the table. And it's just like, I not get that. You are comfortable where you're at. Me, I'm okay with having that coming in, but I want more. But how do I get more? I got to put myself out there. I got to do more. I got to be more. And that's the whole thing. It's just like... You guys, myself, I need help. If I'm pleading on this track, bruh, I need help. And you individuals play a huge part of what goes on through tags, uh, through reposting, through your comments, through sharing the social media, the YouTube channel, hashtag VEO. You guys do so much in the back scene that, yeah, I'm out here and I make the video and I put content out, but you guys put me on. You guys help me out. And I'd be a fool not to give you two claps and a pat on your back because you guys, bro, help me. And I want to say thank you for that because I'll be a fool to be on camera, to be on record and be like, yo, yep, yeah, I'm out here and I do this by myself and nobody helps me and it's just me, me, me. No, nothing has ever been like that, bro. Like everybody needs somebody. Everybody need somebody like for real bro i'm like i need somebody bro and when i'm in your dm you guys do that for me and i want to do the same but the thing is when i'm sliding in your dm there's a there's a purpose behind why i'm doing what i'm doing there's a mission behind why i'm doing what i'm doing but i'm not trying to steal from you i'm not trying to be on your chick but i'm not trying to ca uh, cause rumors wars but i'm not trying to hate on you i'm trying to get to know you relationally relationship wise build a relationship wise care about you and then what is stopping you from being at your best because if i'm a public speaker a motivator a inspir uh, if i'm inspirational and all that it's not fun when you do it by yourself i'm in the build the people business and so it's fun when people jump on board it's fun when people take risks it's fun when people Take that challenge that you throw out there and they do it themselves. And so that's what it's all about. So when I'm sliding in your DM, bro, don't get it twisted, man. I'm not out here uh, trying to ruin nothing you got going for yourself. I just want to empower you just as well as you empower me. And that's what it's about. So when you guys see us, man, on uh, Instagram, YouTube, don't hesitate. Check out our website. Hashtag, you know, check out our website. I was going to say hashtag. It ain't hashtag. Look, it is www.vancouvereliteoutreach.org. Check it out, bro. We got our LTP training stuff on there. We got our guest speaking stuff on there. Bro, we got our clothing line on there. Y'all, like, show some love, bro. Like, don't be that person that's the crab in the bucket or petty. Don't be like I was. I used to be petty. Mad at people because they got stuff booming and doing things. 
And it's not that I don't got that same drive, that same dog, that same will, that same fight. It's just they're doing and I'm not doing. And so I'll be a fool not to do that, man. I support anybody that's grinding for the right reasons, man. If it's music, dance, business-wise, uh, you know, you're an entrepreneur. If you're doing everything for the right reasons and it's right, I'm not going to hate on you, you know. At the end of the day, I applaud you for what you're doing. And so, again, y'all, don't get it twisted, bro. I'm telling you, we had to switch the cameras up. We got two cameras now, and we're making it happen. But I said, I, I said, like, like, Honest truth, like, like grind. Like, I'm going to be in your DM. And while we in this quarantine time, I'm going to be more in your DM. I'm going to be more on social media. So, again, I love you guys much. Comment below. Share. Man, tag people that you know that want to be better. Man, it's all about empowering the people. And so, if you know people, man, that want to be empowered, want motivation, looking for somebody to talk to, bro, don't hesitate to hit me up. That's what I do. I'm in the build. build the people business and that's what it's all about you are a product you are value you have worth you're more than a conqueror don't let nobody tell you you ain't unique you feel me and then you got to continue to love on that moment man don't don't not but love on that moment cherish that moment you don't need 50,000 people to tell you that now let it just be one person and you take that and run with it make sure it's genuine and let it happen again boy share my stuff don't don't be scandalous don't be, don't be hating like I used to hate, mad at people because they doing other stuff that really honestly you want to do and you see yourself doing, but you just haven't stepped out to take the risk. And the risk is so worth it, y'all. Like, real talk, like, it's difficult because you're fighting against yourself, but it's the best risk. I'm, I'm telling you, bro, it's the best risk because you're going to learn so much more about yourself. And I think if you can learn how to have personal development, mind maintenance with yourself, the lifestyle that you are living, you'll see different things happening for you, relationship-wise, financial, you know, spiritual, physical. But again, you have to understand that the battle is within. It's not out. You feel me? So take that risk to fight against you because there's a Matthew that is lazy and is negative and don't want to see better, and is okay with being comfortable where he's at, but then there's a spiritual Matthew, I'm telling you that there's so much more in him, and he's happier, and he's more uh, influ uh, influential, you know, he is more, you know, inspirational, motivational, consistent, out there, but again, I have to understand that that battle starts right in here, you see, right, like, right, uh, oh, oh, all about, oh, you feel me? So, again, if I ever done something to you in my past, man, I apologize, um, especially being in Vancouver, Washington. Man, I was broken, and I want to put that on, on track, on the track, on the track right now. If I ever hurt you, if I ever made fun of you, it was all from an insecurity, y'all. It was all from a place of being broken. Man, a lot of people don't really ask why I was the way I am or why I am the way I am. You know, it's Southern talk. You know, why I is the way I am? That don't even make sense. But anywho... Again, y'all, like, I have a story, and I want to share that story. And if you want to know that story, man, ask, man. I'll tell you why. When you are in an environment that is broken, and you deal with soul trauma, soul trauma is bad, bro. And then you can still be gifted and talented, but this is the thing, though. If you don't purge what is broken in you, starting now, you're going to take it out on all those blessings that you got in your life. So I know exactly what that's like. I've been through it and I've been doing the research on it and look at what we have now. And so I'll be a fool for you and myself not to partner up so we can get to the root cause of that soul trauma so you can be the best version of yourself. Better mind, better lifestyle. No cap. You feel me? Enhance yourself. Don't be scared. But I'm signing out. I love you guys much. Again, this is what we got to do. This is what I have to do. This is what my purpose is. This is what my mission is. And if I'm not doing this, I'm telling you, it feels like I'm not living, bro. Like, I really feel like God is like, huh, Matt, you a saxophone for my kingdom, my glory. Boom, go out there and turn up in the world. So I'm out here turning up in the world. So I love you guys much. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell. Don't be hating on me. Don't be watching and then not sharing and all that other stuff because y'all out there. I know y'all out there. But the ones that know that this is real, the ones that know that I'm speaking from the heart, bro, and you can relate to that and you care about that and you want to see other people eat 
outside of yourself, you already know what to do. Love you guys much. Stay blessed.